so this is the back row on my top shelf. Clearly it needs to be fixed slightly because Princess Knight Volume 1 is all the way on the end. And I do have Volume 2, Princess Knight is a Tezuka show I don't really like, but I have it anyway. Then is my Toriko collection, woohoo! Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Tori, 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 Toriko. It's a shonen about <laughs> a guy who eats a lot of food, so it's basically like the Food Network plus the shonen, which should pretty much be my life. The dub is great. I'm really pissed that Funimation stopped dubbing it. Um, so if you'd just like to hire everyone, especially Ian Sinclair, my husband that I wish I had, to talk to me in that low voice forever in a day, um, please do get him back, please. And just dub it for me. I don't give a fuck. Just do it. Then I have my Negima collection, which it needs to be completed. Uh, the original Negima is out of print. Some of them are hard to find. These are the cheap ones, which are not. So I have... Uh, volumes 1, 2, and 5. Then I have Negima! Oh, question mark? This is the second season. Uh, it's the whole thing. And then I have Negima! Question mark? The spring and summer specials. Uh, the only ones I've seen, I believe, are the first two volumes of original Negima. Only exclamation point. Not Negima! Exclamation point. Question mark? Again, in my quest to find a Harry Potter anime. This is not it. <laughs> Then I have the original fucking singles of Vampire Night and Vampire Night Guilty, because I fucking love Vampire Night, even if the dub sucks majorly. But I love Vampire Night. So moving on, uh, Rose and Maiden, the complete-ish, supposedly, series. It's actually seasons one and two. I think the OVAs are on here. This is the Sentai re-release. I watched all of Rose and Maiden before I decided to buy this. And I like it okay. I really like the art style more than anything else. I don't have anything else to say about Rose and Maiden. It's about dolls. The new one's not in here. It should go right next to it, but it hasn't made its way over there yet. Probably because this giant box set of Yawara is taking up a lot of room. Yawara, a fashionable judo girl. She's so fucking fashionable that we only got the first 40 episodes because the company that licensed it, they only licensed the first 40 episodes and it tanked so we didn't get any more. But it's basically like Ron Mahaff with a girl training to do judo in the Olympics. And she doesn't turn into a boy if you hit her with water. Then I have Fushigi Yugi, the season two box set. Here's my air quotes again. This is the re-release from Anime Works. And I do have the rest of it, it's just not in this shelf. I really need to reorganize this shelf. Uh, but I love Fushigi Yugi. Not necessarily season two, but I do love it. Reverse harem! Then I have Special A parts one and two. This is the original version that does not have the dub on it. Uh, Special A! It is a really cute romance series. I love it. Yeah, but I just haven't bought the dub yet because I don't want to buy it again. I didn't even trade it in to get the dub, so I I like it though, it's really cute. Uh, Ram and a Half, Hard Battle. This is season three box set. It's a thin pack, it's from Viz. Uh, I bought this when I was watching Round and a Half the first time. And I couldn't find season three anywhere. I couldn't find it on Netflix. I couldn't find it on Rent Anime, which is my anime rental service. I still use uh, even though not lately, because I have three episodes of Records of Lodos War sitting at my house, but I don't have disc one because they don't have it. So I've had them for like four months. Anyway, this is around my half, uh, season three. Only bought it so I could be a completist and work my way through the series because nobody had it to rent. I love Ranma. I'm so happy it's in a better Blu-ray edition now. Then I have Magic Users Club, the original OVAs, and then the TV series. OVAs are leagues better than the television show, and it's by Anime Works, and I believe by the same people who did Sailor Moon. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Uh, the Wallflower, this is the Save Edition, but I flipped the cover because I hate Save Edition covers. Uh, hysterical. What the wallflower is about? Like this girl who really needs a makeover, and she lives with all these guys who try to make her over, so they can continue to live at a place for rent free. Really funny. Almost finished it. Haven't finished it yet. The dub is great. 
Romeo X Juliet. This is also the save edition. And I flipped the cover. Also, haven't finished this yet, but we all know how Romeo and Juliet ends, don't we? It's pretty. The dub is okay. The best part about this show is the opening theme, which is a Japanese version of a Josh Groban song. I don't like Josh Groban, but I sure love the remix of this. What the fuck is this? I don't even know what this is. Hold on. Big wind up. Uh, season 1, this is the save edition. I flipped the cover, which is why you can't tell what it is. I've never actually watched this. Get back in there. But it's a baseball show. Funimation only licensed one se series season of it because it tanked. Sucks. But I've never even watched it yet, so it's there for me whenever I want it. Destiny of the Shrine Maiden, I hate this show. <laughs> Um, it has to do with that universe that Garden of Sinners is in, I think. Also, Lunar Legends. So get him a Lunar Legend is, is, is in the same universe. I don't like this show. It's about robots and fan service, and I don't like it. Then I have Hitamari Sketch Season 1, and you can tell I really didn't like this show because I didn't buy the rest of it. Um, I hate the art style. I don't think it's funny. I hate everything about Hitamari Sketch, and I haven't even finished the first season. I will eventually, but I do not plan on getting the others ever, even though I'm a fucking completist, because I hated it so much. Next, I have Lovely Complex. Oh, which is like one of my favorite anime of all time. It is subtitled only from due to Disco Tech. So fucking great. So fucking great. It's about this really tall girl who's in love with this really short boy and about how their relationship takes place from a friendship over time. So good. I watched the whole series in a day. No joke. It's a 20 episode or two. 26 episode or two. Oh, uh, what is this? Mythical Detective Loki Ragnarok. Uh, it's episodic. I think I've watched two episodes of this. It's a stack pack. I bought it really cheap. Um, on one of the Christmas sales. And then Supernatural the Animation. I love Supernatural and Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles do make live action appearances in this so of course I had to buy it. Fucking, um, it's okay for an anime. It's pretty episodic. But anything Supernatural, I'll fucking watch. Now onto the double stack of the next shelf. Okay, so here we go. The double stack on shelf number two. All the way at the end, I have both Unico movies on DVD. I do actually have them both on Blu-ray also, but clearly I need to reorganize my shelves. They're not in here. Unico is the very first anime I ever watched. <laughs> ever. I didn't know anything about what anime was, but I watched the shit out of the very first Unico movie to the point where I can still quote it to this day and I don't even think I've watched it again since I've bought it. The second Unico movie I've never actually seen, but I sure watched the shit out of the first one when I was a little, 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 little kid. Love it. And some old ass VHS tape that got passed through another family came to me and was taped off the Disney Channel before the Disney Channel started to suck and only show things with Lindsay Lohan in it. I know, a long ass time ago. Next I have part one and part two of My Bride is a Mermaid. This is a show about a Yakuza family and also a mermaid. It's by Funimation. I don't really like it. I've never finished it, but I don't like it. Then we have my shitty beginnings of my Pokemon collection. As you can see, I have all of the first season the Indigo League in their oversized boxes, 1, 2, and 3. I've only watched number 1 in my quest to watch every Pokemon episode of all time. I am failing fucking miserably. Then I have Pokemon The Adventures in the Orange Islands, which I've never even opened. And then I have a wonderful bootleg of Pokemon The Johto Journeys, which I've never even looked at to see if it works. So it could be a pile of shit, but I bought it off eBay. And until Viz decides to fucking re-release things besides the first goddamn season in season sets, I mean, this is the only way I'm gonna get to watch Pokemon. Next up is Soul Eater. I have the original releases, part one, two, three, and four, which I actually bought for $9 a piece when Right Stuff was trying to get rid of them before the complete collection came out. Fucking love Soul Eater. Death the Kid is like one of the best anime characters of all time. 
and yep, it's coming out re-released in a Blu-ray special edition soon, and I'm gonna double dip and buy it, because I fucking love Soul Eater and Death the Kid. Uh, next up is Eden's Bowie. Bowie, however the fuck you want to say it, is this actually the first Right Stuff blind box I ever got? And the first Right Stuff blind box I've never watched. There have been many more after that. Uh, next is my El Hazard collection. I have the OVAs, all the seasons of them, all of them, they're all right there. Uh, El Hazard, The Wanderers, which is a Nozomi re-release. And then this is El Hazard 2. The fuck is this? The Alternative World. Uh, this is the box set. Clearly still in the shrink wrap because I haven't watched it. El Hazard is like a fantasy anime um, that I watched because I wanted to watch something that was like Fushigi Yugi and it's nothing like Fushigi Yugi so I was really disappointed. Still funny and good in its own right but it wasn't what I wanted. Next up I have my Dirty Pear collection which is all Nozomi releases. Um, I have all of them, whatever the fuck they are. Dirty Pear, Season 1, and the nice boxes. Then you have the three little shitty boxes over there, like, did Right Stuff just get lazy? Did they not make any money off of this? Um, I don't know, but I have them all. And I've watched two episodes of one of them. Next up, uh, Nana 7 of 7, which to me, I think I should have seven DVDs, but maybe not. Maybe there are only six. Uh, this is a really cute show. It's really weird. It's like this girl who has clones of herself. I've seen about half of it. And fun fact, the voice who plays Misty from Pokemon plays the girl's best friend in this show. It's from Anime Works. And I don't know if you can find it, but if you can, I bet it's really cheap. But it's cute. I kind of like it, at least from what I've seen of it so far. And now the very last double stacked shelf. Let me pull the things out. Oh my god, okay, so the sliding is fucking terrible, so I'll try to do this as quickly as possible, but I mean, this is like the bottom, darkest basement of my anime shelves. Not that there's anything wrong with the anime that's down here, but you know, they're down here. So I have Nanaka 6 and... I don't even... can't even read it. Hold on. Nanaka 6 and a quarter, 6 and 1 seventh. I don't even know. I've watched maybe two episodes of this. Uh, I bought it really cheap on a Christmas sale. Magical Witch Poonie-chan, which I've never even seen. I can't even read what this one is. Oh, that's the original Cutie Honey, which I haven't even opened. Uh, this is basically the wall. Well, it's, okay, half of it I've never even seen. Half of it I watched too much of, so I had to put it in the back so I wouldn't watch it anymore. I have Robotech, uh, Volume 7. I don't have any other Robotechs, but I got this in a blind box and I had nowhere else to put it. Then I have Inuyasha. I have all of it. So this is where Final Act should go. Uh, I'm, they're all in their original shrink wrap, except for the first volume, because that's as far as I've gotten in Inuyasha. Oh god, another shonen. I hope I finish it eventually. Also the movies. Then I have Kobato, which I've watched half of. It's very beautiful, but very episodic, and it gets boring after a while. La Corda Doro, which is... <laughs> Lakota Doro, which is one of my favorite reverse harems of all time. I think I really want to watch this again, so maybe I should move this to the front. I mean, I fucked up all my shelves anyway, so I might as well pull shit out. Or on High School Host Club. Again, another one of my favorite reverse harems of all time. In the back, because I watch it too much. Uh, Neo Angelique Abyss of Seasons 1 and 2. Uh, this is another reverse harem. I've seen about ooh, maybe six episodes of this, but it takes place in space, so it kind of turned me off because you know I don't like space. The Legend of Black Heaven, which is one of the first anime I ever purchased and still haven't finished because, again, it takes place in space. Though I am on the third disc, so I guess that's saying something. I can't even read that. What the fuck does that say? Oh, is that another Black Heaven? Oh, yeah, it is. Totally. Whoops, okay. Uh, then we have Risky Safety. Uh, again, one of the first anime that I ever purchased and still haven't finished. It's a really short anime and I learned how to say Yoroshiku from it. It's about like a devil. Um, anime Nation actually licensed this. Fun fact, dubbed it and everything made them probably zero money because I got this super cheap 
Bottle Fairy, which is basically like, if you want to know shit about Japanese seasons and holidays, you can watch this. Another one of those short anime from the time when Jennyon licensed absolutely everything. And then finally, in my shelving, I have Chance Pop Session, which I can't even remember what happens in Chance Pop Session, except it's a slice of life show about idol singers. And there you have everything on my shelving. Everything else, and now you can see that I put everything back in some fucking ramshackle ass order. So look, the tenchis aren't even together. It's bothering me already. So I'm gonna have to redo it. Um, yeah, everything else is thrown all over the place. So I'm just gonna show it to you piece by piece. And it will be in another video. If there's anything you want me to take out and give you a closer look at of the stuff that's on my shelves. Let me know. I'll bust it out. Who knows how long that's gonna take. Cause I have a shit ton of anime that's not on these shelves. Uh, and yeah, let me know your thoughts on my anime collection. Oh god, this just looks really bad the more I pan over it cause I just shove shit in here to shove shit in here. Yep, I think we're gonna end this now and I'll come up with something cuter later.